So you just suffered an injury and now it's time to bounce back and you wanna to return to 100%. Well, I got three things today that's gonna to help you get there both physically and mentally. So number one is you have to mentally prepare. Number two is you have to understand the time frame, And number three is you gotta get and focus on 1% better. Now before we move on guys, give the video a like and let me know which injuries since starting with Fit Club or since starting your fitness journey have you dealt with. So number one is that you have to mentally prepare because injuries make you feel like you are starting from square one. And we have to understand that there's a lot of physiological processes that are happening within the body, much what you've probably heard, which is like muscle memory. So an athlete, for instance, doesn't start from square one. You would think that if an athlete sustained a injury, big or small, that immediately that team would cut them. But one of the best basketball players of all time, Kobe Bryant, has dislocated his shoulder, smashed his fingers, tore his Achilles, and the guy continued to play well into his late 30s. Now, would the team give up on him? Heck no, because that guy went on to win multiple championships even after he sustained major injuries. The good thing for you is that you don't have a short time span like those athletes where there is an expiry to their career. You have a long life to live. And so as such, you look at injuries as part of the journey. So don't let the injury mentally set you back and feel like you're starting from day one because all the work that you put into this day, that injury could have been worse. So all the work that you put in actually just brought it to where it is now. And guess what? You're gonna recover 10 times faster than if you weren't working out, but you are working out. So that injury is gonna heal faster than you expect. Now, physically, it's going to seem like forever. And there's going to be days where you just feel like it's not gonna get better. You're gonna to go to the gym and it's gonna be a day. And a day in pain, nobody wants that. Two days in pain, absolutely never do we ever want that. So when you're doing these one days, two days, three days, that would seem like forever. But if you were on a vacation and you were one day, two day, three days into it, you would think that it's going by fairly quickly. We have to understand that these injuries take time, they take patience, and most importantly, they take body movement. The body naturally finds a way to heal itself. Yes, you need a certain level of rest. You obviously don't wanna go back to playing pickleball if you injured your Achilles and going back to 110%, going all out diving for balls or whatever it is that you're doing. But the same thing goes with the gym. So if you were normally doing you know, crazy jumping jacks with sprints and burpees, you're gonna to have to modify for a small period of time. And you're gonna to have to play it day by day. And you're gonna to have to feel it out movement by movement. But I promise you that if you focus on the long run with this, and you focus on the small things like, hey, yesterday I wasn't able to point my toes like that if you sprained an, uh, an ankle. Or yesterday I wasn't able to lift my arm up. I remember I had frozen shoulder one time. I couldn't lift my arm up higher than this. And then it slowly got higher and higher and higher. And you gotta start to reflect on the positive changes that your body's making. And so it might seem like forever, but focus on the small percentage of improvement that you are getting. And those days or weeks or months aren't gonna seem like days, weeks or months. They're gonna seem like hours, minutes, and seconds. And when it comes to an injury, you literally have to focus on the one step at a time on getting 1% better. It's at this time, if you are focused on losing weight or losing fat or building muscle, you have to tighten everything else up. So if you're unable to train as hard as you normally can, then guess what you need to do? You need to tighten up on your diet. You may not wanna be on a meal plan, you may not wanna track your food, you may not wanna be in a caloric deficit, but if you're actually trying to stay on track with your goals and you can't outwork your poor diet, then you're amazing diet is gonna make up for your lack of training. Let me repeat that again. If you have an injury, your workout volume, your workout intensity is going to decrease. It's at this time where your nutrition is going to get cleaner, it's gonna get more focused, and you're gonna dial it in so that it could balance out the table of not being able to kill it at the gym, but eating clean and doing the things that you should with your food. Because if you can get these two aligned, then I promise you, your goals are gonna be way up there, you're gonna hit them a lot faster, and honestly, you're gonna be able to do this for a longer period of time. So there we have it, guys. Make sure before you go to hit the like button, hit subscribe, in the comments, let me know which injuries that you've dealt with, and remember, you gotta mentally prepare for this injury. 
You have to give it time and you have to take it day by day. I'm Coach RJ, guys. Hope you like this video. We'll see you on the next one.